Ooh, what's going on guys, True here, bringing you another review slash reaction on Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. Honestly, it feels like it's been way longer than two weeks since we have had the last chapter. And I'm glad that we're finally getting our girl Urza to get some much deserved shine. I really enjoy that she's actually getting, not necessarily her own chapter here, but having herself be more involved and giving her the shine she most definitely deserves so i was glad about that but we also get to see what's going on with the celestial spirits them helping out throughout the fight them kind of taking them taking down all these uh, yokais so honestly really cool to see that the, this fight with these with these characters are still something somewhat of importance and them doing their job so i was really glad that we got to see a little bit of that but for the most part in this chapter we see Yoko getting angry and getting herself involved because in fact we actually see her being overpowered at this point like the, the fact that all of her yokais are being defeated she's actually getting frustrated and at this point she figures the best alternative for me right now is to combine my abilities with myself which is something that I'm not going to say that I was personally surprised because honestly you know when villains get desperate they rely on the power of something else or fusing themselves with their power. And this was something that wasn't necessarily a shock to me. Honestly, I wish that Yoko had been introduced the way that she did. She was after her fusion because she looks better. Honestly, she looks a lot more menacing. She looks stronger. She looks more of a threat. And just as a whole, like her physical appeal looks a lot better so honestly i was very happy to see this and of course she's not her normal yokai in fact she has another set of arms which doesn't necessarily help out for urza who obviously only has two arms but i love how urza was able to match up against her and actually kind of copying that strategy because he, she actually decides to have like the same uh, in armor of her own which kind of has these two fate arms that she's still able to control so that was actually kind of cool and the fight between the two was actually really kind of nice i thought it was epic and of course urza being the way that she is gets the win which is something that doesn't surprise anyone i'm glad that she won the way she did because honestly i felt like through all the yokais that she had in her control Urza was the one that was nerfed the quickest and just I was very disappointed honestly I thought that she would have been more of a threat considering how powerful she is she's much stronger than Wendy and she's definitely way powerful than than uh, Lucy and for her to be taken down quickly I thought it was kind of a slap in the face so this is I think their, their way of kind of like making up for what they had done with that and while the fight was actually going on we had not to kind of serving as like the second kind of story in this chapter where he's actually having to find a scarf we had this random yokai well it looked like a tanuki and we had it taking his scarf away and when yoko's actually defeated we see that you know he's able to get a scarf and all whatever but crazy stuff is we had suzuko or Su suzaku excuse me showing up as he was kind of like looking for something and this is bad news because now we're going to be having Suzaku seeing Natsu and we know that he's a slayer. So having these two see each other, obviously Natsu doesn't know that at this moment or at least he doesn't remember. But it's going to be really interesting to see if Suzaku is going to either take down uh, Natsu and thinking he's a threat or he's, he's going to end up working together with the rest of the group in order to take down Celine and the rest of the group. So, honestly, it can go either direction. I'm kind of hoping for a nice confrontation between the two, and we can finally see Suzaku, uh, I guess, show off to uh, Natsu and see what his true abilities are, because it's one of the things that we don't know much about his character and, like, his group. I mean, they have been missing for a long time. I wish they would wrap up this story because it's not as interesting as I thought it would be, but it's kind of dragging on. So I'm hoping that maybe this whole arc kind of comes to a close in maybe four or five chapters because, like I said, 
it, it's kind of dragging out and I want them to go back to facing the other people and that would be more interesting in my opinion but let me know what you guys think that is all for me I hope you guys have enjoyed if you have leave a like comment below your thoughts and as always stay safe subscribe to the channel if you haven't I'd greatly appreciate it and take care of yourselves and others and I will catch you later